Today I wanted to pray for you. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. Are you hearing me? Eh? Oh, this mind always comes to you, goes, but you are looking around here. There's no cash here. But always you are dreaming to make business. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, and I want to pray for you. You will be a businessman, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'll pray for you. My name is David from Ivory Park. And uh, I was prophesied about doing business. Yes. And uh, even though like now currently there is nothing but there is this mind of business that comes and goes away. Yes. And for how long has this been happening to you? Uh, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been a while, yes. So because I have a, a company that I have registered in. I have just the papers but nothing is it's coming to care. Because I have a, a tuck shop, a small tuck shop that I, I'm working on it, but even though it's struggling, but since the day has, spoke, has given me a word, I believe that things will be open. And now that they've prayed for you, what is it that you believe God will do for you? I believe that God will open doors for me, for finance. He will connect me in business and finances, financial breakthrough. Just tell me. I want to pray for you. I'm, I want to pray for this. Eh? Okay, this thing that you hear here. Yes, daddy. Eh? It's true. It's true. This thing has been a pain to you. Yes, daddy. I'll pray for you for what I know. You are, you are here. My name is Fina Magola. I'm staying in Balfour Park. Today I received the prophecy uh, concerning my kidneys, and it's true. Jesus. I've been crying of my kidneys for a while now, but today I thank God because I got prophecy against the problem that I have. And for how long have you been experiencing this pain? I, it's been a long time, I cannot say, but this week, this, these three days, it passed. I've been feeling very pain, like every day. Yeah. And how was it affecting you? What were the things you were not able to do because of this pain? It was affecting me because I was not going. I was not even managed to to bend. If the pain started me, I was feeling very painful. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Since man of God speak to me, I feel like somebody's put uh, ice inside my kidneys. Here. I feel very cold, but I feel like I'm healed. Yeah. I want to pray for your career. Come, come here. You've been worrying why everything has stopped one place. Eh? Yes. Eh? yes. And you've been trying to fast and pray yes. concerning your career. Yeah. You are getting breakthrough today. You are getting breakthrough. Congratulations. My name is Prudence Padi. I come from Tembisa. Uh, the prophecy I got, yes, is true because I've been trying to pray because of my career. Nothing is moving, but I'm a very educated person. You can imagine a very educated person, never been worked ever. Yeah. And for how long have you been searching for a job? Uh, maybe four, four years now. And how was this stagnation affecting you? It, it has affected me a lot because when I see people I went to school with, they are like prospering right now. They are successful right now. They are in the same education as I have. But to me, there's nothing. Just that. And when the man of God located you and told you about this challenge, how did you feel and what is it that you believe God was going to do for you? Uh, it's, I, I am excited because he... he he said things will work out for me. I believe God. I'm waiting for God. I'm not sad. I'm waiting. This is what I've been waiting for. God's time is a good time. Words of encouragement to the viewers? They should trust in the Lord. Yeah. Brother, this issue of the karma has come very fast. Yes, sir. Oh, you hear me? Yes, sir. Because the enemy is bringing delays, huh? Yes. Lift up your hands. And you'll marry very soon in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay, 
my name is Mato Zipendami. I come from Johannesburg. Uh, the man of God prophesied to me about the issue of a car being delayed. Uh, I've been uh, trying to apply for a car for a long time, but uh, I've somehow I've just been discouraged all this time when I tried to apply it. So, um, yeah, you confirm about that. Um, the prophesied about that, sorry. And then also prophesied me about um, a marriage that is closer uh, to reserve. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that you prophesied me about. And what kind of challenges were you coming across uh, since you were searching for a car and, you went, and it was being delayed? Okay, the challenges that I've been facing was um, the challenges of financials. Um, when I look at my salary, uh, I've just been discouraged and say, okay, maybe I, I might not going to get approved or anything because I've been looking at my um, the issue of my salary all the time. So that's been the biggest challenge that I've been facing. Yes. And now that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you, what is it that you believe God is going to do for you? Uh, I believe uh, that uh, God has used the man of God to say a word upon my life that uh, there's a car that is going to come. And uh, everything that he has said about me or prophesied me um, of a marriage, and I believe that it's going to come. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. There's a brother here called Morgan. Brother, I want to pray for you. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. I want to pray for you. I want God to do something. Huh? Yes. This issue of ATMs, what, what, God must give you a better job. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. And I'm telling you, good things are still coming. I'm seeing marriage. Yes. Very soon, I'm seeing money that is coming to you. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. I'm seeing what? Marriage. I'm seeing money that is come to, coming to you. You'll marry very soon. Amen. And you'll marry this lady that you're staying with. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Lift up your hands. So you are doing what? Standard Bank? I, I left Standard Bank and now I'm... You, you're uh, working in Standard Bank? Yes, before. Huh? Yes. Before? Yes. So now you're working somewhere? Yes. There's a better job, better than this one. Amen. My name is Morgan. I'm coming from Guiani, but I stay here in Tembis. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? You know, the prophecy that I received today from the prophet, it was perfect, it was right, because I've been searching for a job, and the job that I found always is a security job where he mentioned Standard Bank, it's where I was a security also. So we have fought with those people then, then I moved to another company. Now I'm working in another company, so... The, the, the prophecy was perfect and also the marriage also yeah I, it's long i've been searching for a money to make the to, to be married in the right way so and 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 how was this affecting you you know it has affected my life to extend that i to extend that i don't understand what's going on because i've tried to to search for a job and to do to do driver's license and it has never worked for me so sometimes I just leave everything to God so that I believe that God is the is the uh, author and the finisher of everything so today my time has come as I received the prophecy because I believe after prophecy everything it will be all right it's already all right in the spirit I believe so yes There's a lady there, Mama. There are people that are feeding you, and where you are married, there's a problem. You say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mama, there's a man who visits you. Yes. Huh? yes. There's a man who visits you in the night. Yes. Huh? Yes. And this man is doing funny, funny things with your body. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. So, but today. Because sometimes you feel like there's a poison here. Huh? That must true. I'm hearing pains here, serious pains. Yes. So this thing must leave you out. Out, you demon. Uh, 
my name is Ivodi Amutsebe. I'm from Tlevel. Um, I thank God for the prophecy that I received today. I wasn't expecting any prophecy, but I believe uh, that the light of God has set upon me. Yes, um, prophet has told me about uh, uh, the things that happens to me during the night. And I confirm that as a very much true because sometimes I'll be sleeping. I will be like uh, seeing something that I don't understand, feeding me, giving me some strange food that I don't even, I can't even explain. So yeah, about the stomach pains, 100% true because uh, it has been bothering me for some, maybe it started from early last month. And then it was so terrible. I was even thinking of going to see the doctor. But I just believed that as I keep on coming here, my day will come. So last week I received a prophecy. I received deliverance last week. And then after that deliverance, I started feeling much, much better. Even today when I come here, I was um, very much better. So right now, because I have received a word uh, through the servant of God, I believe uh, the pains has left my body and I've been set free in Jesus' name. I thank you. Amen. This one. Have you ever went to SARS? You. Have you ever went to SARS? Oh? Huh? Thank you, Jesus. You are saying what? Come again. You are saying what? He's saying thank you, Jesus. Did you go to SARS? No. Huh? No. I'm seeing there will be an issue of SARS, huh? Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, there's issue of SARS. Okay. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, just talk. <laughs> I'm saying this issue of SARS. Yes. South African Revenue Service. Ye yes, it's this one. You have got a letter there. Yes. Give glory to God. <laughs> Listen, God is going to fight for you. <laughs> Come here, let me pray for you. Listen, I'm seeing an issue with SARS, but let me tell you something. Don't worry. This, in fact, this is not an issue. Are you hearing me? It, yes. This is not an issue. God is going to fight for you, and God will lift you up. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Jesus. So whatever that devil is doing against your life, in fact, this is a breakthrough that is coming. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Say yes. This is a breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. I come from Limpopo Venda. My name is Mudao Lawrence. Mudao Lawrence. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, my prophecy is true because I... Kenali skolo to kosars section sorry kis patele no skoto sele kirele kia kio hisa che che uche korke kolo ta how much bampule lo kolo ta for four hundred and fifty rands but yes yes it's true kia kolo ta kampanya kia kolo ta kosars it's true yes and how was this affecting you? Yeah, it's affecting me a lot because every time if I get a money, I delay to go to pay. I believe because man of God I tell me I say today that skolto sellers was fedile is true I believe and for how long has this been happening the fact that you would have money to pay sars but you wouldn't pay how, how for how long it's from 2017 yeah, that credit is from 20, 2017, yeah, until today, yeah. I go there on maybe, I think so, 20, uh, this year, May, and then I go to check my credit, and then that ladies, 
I say to me it's 450 rands. Yeah, that my credit. But today I believe that credit is called the seller's failure. Now that they've prayed for you, what is it that you believe God will do for you? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, I can only believe. Yeah, I'm going to say last promote because yeah, I believe. I get every time I keep going about to watch an ammo. I do call to say when I promote like my partner. I'm going to say last promote. Last promote an ammo kiri kiri. That's why I believe. My brother. This issue of your, your forefathers, eh? you, sir, you must not take it for granted. Yes. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you. This issue of your forefathers, you must not take it what? For well, granted. For granted. Because were you married before? Uh, yes. Huh? Yes. The person that you're with is the second person? No, no, no. Huh? We, we separated. We you separated. Actually, yeah. And remember, your father, your forefathers, they married five wives, right? Yes. So now, let's break the spirit. Amen. And, and after you leave here, only good things will come. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because you are fighting a long time spirit, but this spirit is defeated. Amen. Amen. Coming from uh, Swabia, Melbourne, in Victoria. My name is Dominic Noah. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy that I received today is concerning uh, generation uh, assessors' curses regarding marriage. So I confirm yes. Uh, and, his, and he prophesies that uh, my dad actually had uh, five wives. Yeah, so he said, uh, I have not to take it in granted for granted. Yeah, this is what the prophecy was about. And then, can you confirm what was happening? Yeah, actually, well, what is said is, is, is right because uh, for a long time, even I had a problem uh, with my wife, when which which ended up to for which ended up. Uh, I've been divorcing her in uh, in 2017. Yeah, since that time, you know, uh, since that time, my life was not not going all right, you know, not focusing actually on what uh, God wants to do in my life. And now that they've prayed for you for deliverance, how are you feeling, and what do you believe God is going to do for you? Ah, uh, I'm feeling that it is. Uh, I'm feeling that it is it is done already. Uh, I'm feeling good now, so that from now on one can be able to focus in what God wants to do in my life. I want to pray for you. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, prophet. But there's a problem in the family. Yes, prophet. Of marriage. Eh? Yes, prophet. And now it's like. I'm seeing people that they used to dance, funny dances in the long days. Yes, prophet. Uh, yes, prophet. Like they were doing madozy things. Yes, prophet. Uh, yes. I'm seeing madozy, madozy, madozy. But you, you will break this curse in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Ryan Tseng Kuku. I came from uh, Eastern Cape, Stakes Parade. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, today Prophet prophesied me about my family. He said there is a problem in my family about marriage. That this is true. All of us will not get married. So that it is true. Yes. And how was this affecting you? Very, very much. It was affecting me very, very much because my first, my firstborn, my sister, was getting married. I think it's only one year after that she died. She died. And then the second one, she get married, and after that she died. And then it's me, the third one, and I didn't get married. All of them, they didn't get married. So it was affecting me a lot. So today, as the prophet, the prophet given the prophet, I know everything is going well. Amen. And how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling weight. I'm feeling light. That weight was upon me. I feel like it's gone. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. I want to pray for you. Are you me? I want to pray for you. Amen. There's some attacks that the enemy is bringing in your life. Yeah. Are you me? Amen. We need to pray for your blood issue. Are you me? Amen. Because this is becoming a generational problem. Yeah. Because in the past, the, this I'm seeing people that were dying with high blood and sugar diabetes. Yeah, yeah. Are you me? My mom. Huh? Yeah, my mom. I'm saying I'm it. seeing people dying with sugar diabetes and high blood. Mm. Are you me? And this case now is coming to you. Mm. So, but today God will help you because even your parents, mm. they are suffering from the same problem. My huh? mom is having all those things. High huh? blood and diabetic. My mom. Your mom is doing what? Died of high blood and diabetes. Died of uh, sugar, sugar diabetes. Yeah. So I'm telling you, this is the problem of the family. Yeah, yeah. But today, this spirit is broken. Amen. Come, come here. Because I'm seeing, before she died, she was also complaining about the feet. Huh? So today, this problem must not come to you. Amen. Already, this thing is developing in your blood. Out! Mm. My name is Victor Maduke. I'm from Lesotho, but I'm currently in Kalfontein. Prophecy and, and confirmation that you received today? Yes. I, the, 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 the prophecy is through that uh, my mom was a uh, diabetic he was having the high blood and as the prophet was uh, prophesying that there was a there is a there is a an attack that is following me which uh, is from my mother which was uh, which attacked my mother i confess uh, I, 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 the prophecy is true. It's true. My mother died of a. Uh, she was this person who was uh, troubled by a diabetic, diabetic, sugar diabetes, and uh, the high blood. Mm. And this issue, how was it affecting you? Uh, since uh, my mom uh, was terribly sick while well, when I was here in in Gauteng, uh, and I never saw her. But he was, she was seen by uh, my, my other siblings and the, the other uh, relatives. But I only spoke to her over the phone. I, I could feel that she was not okay and it affected me so much. And now that they've prayed for you, what is it that you believe God has done? Since uh, the prophecy came out and I'm being prayed for, I believe that the, the case is being broken. Amen. Just stand up. Don't worry about this family. Are you hearing me? Don't worry about this family. God will give you a baby. Whether they like it or not. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not praying for you. My name is Nogupiwa Mshongo. I come from Durban. Prophecy and confirmation? Um, the prophecy that the man of God gave me is true. I've been married for five years now without a child and I have been quite worried. Uh, in fact, today was just a confirmation because yesterday I also got the same prophecy. So I believe God will do it for me in Jesus' name. And how was this affecting you? It was affecting me in a way that everybody expects you to have a child after marriage and uh, people were starting to ask questions that I could not answer. So I thank God that today he has heard my prayers. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I've got faith that uh, Jesus will do it for me from here in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing a family and in this family here, I'm seeing a lot of competition. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm seeing a lot of competition and you, everything is down now. 
Are you me? Yes. Everything is down, but I want to tell you, you'll be an example of these people. Mm -hmm. But please, you need to be careful about your phone. Eh? Are you me? Yes. You need to be careful about your phone. I'm seeing some things in your phone. So, but from today, you need to live your, right, your life rightfully so that God must bless you. Are you hearing me? Yes. And there are some people that we also need to go away from that yes. are not living right so that God must lift you up. Out! Out! I'm going to go to the next one for light and peace. Yes. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Yeah, yeah, my prophet, uh, I'm telling uh, uh, any, any situation, I, I'm changing, I'm changing, I'm changing our competition, we take our competition higher, so I'm making changing standards, I'm going to go to the next season. Yeah. And what is it that you were doing that uh, the man of God said that you should change and pray so that God can help you? Yeah, if uh, yeah, I'm changing. I'm changing because if I'm sleeping, I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying very much. So if you have a testimony, I'm coming to come to 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 come to come to then let it test them on if we can test them on amen let's say mama i want to pray for you why are your children at home you right. need to pray for your children eh? yes oh you hear me yes we need to pray for your children some of your children it's like they, they've got dander heads amen oh you hear me yes some of your children they've got what Danda is. You must pray for them. It's a spirit Amen. that wants to snatch your children. Amen. With doing wrong. It's true. Oh, you hear me? That's true. And this thing has been worrying you now. Because I'm seeing you praying for your children. It's really huh? true. They must be careful with a person called Soli. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Go and tell them. Soli. So. Yes. Go and tell them. Amen. So that they must live right. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So because I'm just seeing funny people that are going close to them. Yes. And this thing now is worrying. Don't worry. Don't Amen. worry. Amen. Leave it, leave it. And God is healing you, your stomach. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. God is healing your stomach. In Jesus' name. Your friend. My name is Nozi P. Wajale. I'm coming from Platinbeck Bay. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The prophecy I received today about my son. My son, the, the prophet says he must be careful of the person's soul. And then my son, he was doing the wrong things, taking drugs, doesn't listen to me. So I thank God for today. I think it is done. And for how long has he been taking drugs and how was it affecting you? As it was affecting me a lot. Because it's a long time, I think it's more than 10 years now, taking drugs. And it was bothering me every day, every day. 
is working, but I didn't see the man. The man is eating with friends, but he's got children. So I um, thank God for today. And when the man of God located you and told you about the issue of your son, how did you feel? What is it that you were believing God is doing for your family? I was believing God. I was believing God to gonna do it for me because I was praying very hard today to locate me. We believe that indeed God has delivered your son as he was located through you and we believe you will come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen.